Hi everyone, Al again. Had a few problems recently come through on YouTube channel to do with um, these little beauties here. Um, see, a few of you got leaks on these traps. Um, not only just this type, but sink trap types as well, and uh, bath waste. Um, I had quite a few, and I thought I'd try and do them all in one kind of hit, as it were. Um, first, I'm going to show you this bottom trap, which is quite uh, universal these days. Now, quite often there's a leak at the bottom of this thing. Um, now, what to do about it? Um, well, the first thing is undo the waste and just check that little black washer there. Check that that washer is not perished. If it is, I mean, I call it a washer. Some people call them O-rings or seals. But whatever it is, it's a little black washer as far as I'm concerned that sits in that little groove there. Okay, can you see it? If that's perished, then renew it and put another one on. Okay, on the other end of this, you'll have uh, this type of arrangement. There will be a little ring like that, that going onto the pipe. And an O-ring, make sure this is round the right way. It should be cone ways in and come onto the pipe. I'll show you with another fitting now that should go uh, to make it more easy if I bring up this, uh, this bit of waste pipe here I've got a bit ready this is an intercooler basin waste and uh, if I show you um, basically um, the nut go, go on the end of there like that followed by the little ring there uh, followed by this little concave little devil look you see make sure that is round the right way okay it goes that way facing out once they're on, um, you literally just push them together like so. Okay, and then do the ring up. Um, as for tightening these things, uh, only meant to be hand tight, but uh, you'll quite often find they've been done up with grips, I'm afraid, quite often. Uh, and if they have been, uh, you'll need them to undo it again. But it should hold water just by hand tight. Now there's a washer mission on the top of this one, you probably noticed there should be one round there. But this is an old spare trap in my toolbox, I just got it off to show you, that's all. Okay, so we move on. Um, back to the little bottle trap again. Uh, this is quite a common one to say, under sinks. Um, if you find that wash is okay and there's still water appearing down the bottom, then the other little thing this one can be, especially with bottle traps, is the actual washer sealed in this bottle. It could be just loose, it's worth trying to tighten it up. But if you look down there, you'll see there's a little washer down there, a little black washer, and that could be the one that's gone. Um, do try just tightening it first, it might be all it needs, it might just be loose and all you need to do is give it half a turn by hand, I hasten to add, not anything on it, and it will be tight. The same thing at that end again, all the pipes that go into these traps are the same arrangement with the washer and the little fibre washer at the end, okay. So they're all the same, they're all going to be the same. Okay, so that one there, bath waste again, this is another horrible one, always, you're always getting leaks from these. It's the same thing, sometimes you get this little cap end on the end here. They're a nuisance, they're just a bloody nuisance, I'd sooner do without. Uh, but there's a little washer in there, that can also leak. Okay, um, they're quite often got these on, not so much nowadays as on the old systems, but you often add that as, a, as an aid to clearing the bath waste out. Again, same configuration for the pipe on that end. Again, as you can see, no washer on there. Okay, <laughs> don't try and put one up with no washer on it. Um, lastly, and at least, I'm back to the basin waste again. I just want to show you something. Uh, a lady uh, got on to me last week. Um, she fitted a wash basin, very brave, and I think very good too. Why not? Uh, but she found that the trap was too short. Her existing trap was like this, and the basin waste was there. So I just said, Go out to your local plumbing shop and get an adjustable waste, and this is it. This is an adjustable waste. By that I mean you can pull this up and down. So you just undo that, and you can pull it. See that? So you can make up the height that is missing. So if you find that it's either too high or it's too low, you can cut it down the other way as well. Now the part for this, if you have to do this, take this off, is a washer like so. Um, this is a ceiling washer for going into there. Okay, if you have to cut it down, you'll find you'll have to cut a little bit off of this because it can only go down to that level there. So if you need to go lower, you will need to nip a little bit of that waste pipe off. Um, otherwise, it's usually 
couple of inches up, normally short, you normally have to pull it up. That's just something else I just thought I'd show to you today concerning waste pipes and waste traps. Um, they're not as difficult as they look and usually the leaks are easy found. Don't forget, if you've got a waste like this as well, uh, that you can have a leak from this one. If you split this one, there's another washer there. Okay, so this one could also leak, so it's something else to look out for. Um, just dry everything off with a piece of Fiesta. I might call it Fiesta, but kitchen towel. That's an old name, isn't it? Fiesta. We're going to a Fiesta. A bit of kitchen towel or a bit of toilet paper tissue around. Dry everything off and trace where the leak's coming from. If it's coming from this joint, um, you know you need a new washer on there. But also do try before you've placed any washers, just try giving it a little nip with your hands. Sometimes it can be just loose and nothing but just a little bit loose and just a tiny little nip with your hands like that and it will stop the leak. So do try that first before you go back replacing any washers. Save you a lot of uh, hard work. If that, because quite often I've gone round um, to people's houses to do jobs and found that it's just simply loose and I've gone like that and job done. You know, it's just something I've learned over the last 40 odd bloody years. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, all my videos, as you know, Dirt and Verdi Free uh, on my old channel and uh, keep watching. Thanks very much. Bye bye.